Love him or hate him, Andrew Tate is an absolute genius. In the span of a few months, Andrew Tate went from practically nothing to apparently one of the most searched people on the planet. TikTok videos using his hashtag were viewed more than 14 billion times. He was everywhere all the time, in a way no other influencer has been before him. He went from you know, relatively unknown to, I think, on everyone's radar within six months. And, and I mean everyone's radar. And Andrew Tate took all this attention and turned it into $60 million in less than a year, according to our estimates. But it goes much further than just views and money. Andrew Tate now has true influence, true power over the most consequential demographic there is. Young military age males. How much influence, you ask? Enough to get his followers to change their religion. I think if you control the medium, you control the message. I think if you have an affiliate army that'll say whatever you want, and you can instruct them to put out whatever piece of podcast content you want, and you're getting billions of views, you control reality. I've got you know a decent following on Instagram and TikTok, and you know I've got this young kid who, who engages with me from time to time. I know he's a big Tate fan, um, and he's kind of been going off the rails lately, right? Getting him more, more into the conspiracy stuff and all that. So I've been trying to. I settle him down, just, you know, hey kid, you need to be sleeping, you need to be eating right, da da da. And he's, you know, basically asking me for self improvement advice because he can't do anything other than push ups and praise Allah. And so he's he's converted to Islam as well with, with Tate. And this is and a, this is like a white American. This, this is a 16 year old, you know, lives at home, suburb, white American. And like, wh wh where's like he in, from? A, in rural Ohio, like, you know, didn't know what anything about the Islamic faith until he saw Tate convert a couple of weeks ago. So basically, what you're saying is, uh, like Tate's influence, like he's figured out this way to influence the masses so effectively that, like, that a he white, has real power now. Yeah, like mm -hmm. a white teenage boy in America converted to Islam. We'll do whatever he says. That's right. That's pretty powerful. It's extremely powerful. Young military age males are the ones that go to war, that start a revolution, that topple those in power. And Andrew Tate now has them in the palm of his hand. This is my good friend Rob Oliver, by the way. He's founded seven different multi-million dollar e-commerce brands, which made him obsessed with propaganda and the mechanics of how to influence the masses. So he really helped out with this video. I'll link to his socials below, definitely follow him. And this was no accident, by the way. Now, this was a carefully thought out strategy that Andrew Tate probably put a lot of thought into that we're gonna call the Tate model. An insanely genius yet simple system where you have your diehard fans flood the internet with clips of yourself promoting your products, and then you pay them a commission for every sale, thus creating this beautiful, profitable, self-reinforcing cycle of attention and money. Uh, mixed reviews on the color. Some people said they like it, some people said they don't like it, and I said, well, what color is your guy? <laughs> Andrew Tate has forever changed the game of business, marketing, influencers, and propaganda forever. I'll take it one further than business marketing. I, mean, I think he fundamentally shook the fabric of like all of organized society. Even super PG influencers like Mr. Beast are taking a page out of his playbook. I just want to do more podcasts because a lot of people re-upload them on TikTok and stuff sure. like that. So it's like, even if this hypothetically got, we'll just say a million views, it could get hundreds of millions of views on TikTok if we just say some cool shit. It's a great time to I guess do a bunch. Tate kind of like started that too, right? Yeah, I would call it the Tate model. And in this video, we're going to put aside all the drama and we're going to break down the Andrew Tate model step by step in all its glory for you to replicate if you so choose. My name is Jake Tran, stay dangerous, subscribe for more, and let's get into it. Before he became the most controversial guy on the internet, Andrew Tate was a legit four-time world champion kickboxer. And while he was still fighting, he started building a little audience on Twitter. I mean, he had been on the internet for a long time, so it wasn't like he had just, you know, like, just started on the internet and all of a sudden took over. He he originally was on Twitter, kind of in that whole manosphere. So you know, dating, masculinity, the whole the whole red pill movement. That was that was his thing. And then he was largely attached to Trump, and so he was kind of just an aggressive troll on Twitter and built built you know a pretty hardcore following, some really good connections with kind of the OG Twitter audience. And what what time period was this? Was this during like his kickboxing phase, or was it after, or? Yeah, it, it's my understanding he was on Twitter like very early on, as early as like 2014. But it wasn't really going anywhere, so he tried something else to get more fame. Reality TV. In 2016, he went on a reality show called Big Brother and proceeded to get kicked off six days later after a video surfaced of him hitting a woman with a belt. 
Tate and the woman said it was consensual, but it didn't matter. He was out. But what seemed like a setback in the moment made Tate realize something that would forever change the course of his life. Doing super controversial things makes you go viral super fast. A simple but very profound truth. So he leaned into it. His tweets got more controversial, he started gaining a little bit more traction. On the side, he set up a webcam business that made him his first millions. But the growth was just not fast enough. And it was around this time that TikTok started blowing up. And it was a game changer. All of a sudden, literally anyone could go viral and become famous on a scale never seen before while posting low production quality videos that didn't take a lot of effort to make. And that's when Tate noticed something interesting. Not only did controversial content go even more viral on TikTok compared to any other platform, but he also noticed a word pattern where the very first TikTok you post on a new account always seemed to go viral. Maybe you've noticed this too. It's happened to a bunch of people we know where the very first TikTok they post is not very good, but without fail, the first one always seems to go viral. Why? Probably to get people addicted to making TikToks. And the executives at TikTok don't know what the masses are gonna enjoy, so why not? It costs TikTok practically nothing to give everyone a shot to see what viewers like the most, so that got Tate thinking. If new accounts get rewarded on TikTok and controversial content spreads even faster on there, if he could get an army of people to post clips of him saying the most controversial outlandish stuff all on new TikTok accounts, he would have the potential to go viral like no one ever has before. The problem was, even if you're a diehard Andrew Tate fan, why would you waste hours of your life finding clips of him, adding captions on the screen, posting them on TikTok in perpetuity, unless you had some kind of incentive? And it was right then and there that Andrew Tate realized what he needed to do. He needed to provide his fans some kind of incentive to post as many controversial clips as possible. And what better incentive than a monetary incentive? Enter Hustlers University. In 2021, Andrew Tate launched Hustlers University. At first, it was just a course on how to make money, dating tips, and advice on how to escape the matrix. But then in late 2021, the program underwent a pretty big change and relaunched as Hustlers University 2.0. Overall, the aesthetic and production quality of Hustlers University leaves a little bit to be desired. But if you're a teenage boy that doesn't know anything about making money, the education was actually pretty decent. Definitely better than nothing. And here's how it works. For $49 a month, you got to choose to learn one of seven different ways to make money online, from crypto to freelancing to copywriting to dropshipping and more. Whatever pathway you chose, you would get access to all sorts of lessons from Tate's handpicked professors. And it was all hosted in a Discord server, where you and the community of students could discuss how to stop being a wage slave brokey. <laughs> and how to become a financially free top G. I'm the only real G. And guess what one of those money-making pathways you could choose from was? A little section called affiliate marketing. It was pure genius. If you were a student that chose this path, you would learn all about affiliate marketing, how to market other people's products and get paid a commission for every sale you got. Now you may be thinking, but that's great and all, Mr. Top G, but what product should I affiliate market first? Well, you're in luck, young student because we have the perfect product for you to market. Hustlers University, where you're gonna get paid a fat $25 commission per signup or 50% of the first month of the new signup subscription. And no, you don't get any money if your signups sign up other people, so it's not an MLM. Oh what, you still don't know where to start? You don't know how to market the course? That's okay, because here's a Google Drive containing all the podcasts and clips of every controversial thing I've said on camera, all organized out for you. Here are specific instructions on how to edit these clips into TikToks and how to add captions by using a free online video editor from Canva.com. Here are instructions on how to create a Tate TikTok fan page. Here's a template to create a high converting landing page with a bunch of screenshots of students making money from Hustlers University with your own affiliate link attached, all using a free landing page tool called beacons.ai. Oh, you don't have screenshots of other students making money? Fear not, just head over to the HDU Wins channel in Discord where all the students post screenshots of their wins. In fact, here's everything a 15-year-old boy with no social media experience would need to have to create a viral Andrew Tate fan page on TikTok by intentionally posting the most controversial clips of me as possible. And with this genius affiliate program in place, once Andrew Tate got a few good affiliates working for him, that is when he blew up. Tate specifically taught his affiliates that attracting controversy was the quote key to success end quotes and that they should be aiming for 60% fans and 40% haters because quote you want arguments you want war end quotes 
Basically, you want to post the most outlandish clips out of context to drive up engagement and create a war in the comment section. The worst thing women do is they flex. Now that I'm rich, now that I'm top G, king of the world. What made Tate's affiliate content and direction so effective was he didn't just hand them, you know, like this general blueprint and say, remake all my content. It was no, take the piece of the content where I slap and tell her to shut the right? And start with that, lead with that. It'll get someone to stop scrolling. And so they were very intentional on finding the most inflammatory, aggressive material because it's what works. Once the affiliates posted their clips, the TikTok algorithm would do what it does best. There was, there was a lot of old stuff on his YouTube that I believe got it off the ground. And so I know they repurposed a lot of that. I'm sure he had a lot of his actual team, you know, cranking out content, repurposing it on TikTok, taking these swings at bat. How instrumental was like TikTok? It was everything. Y you couldn't have done this otherwise. Like TikTok is this equalizer that has fundamentally changed all social media for everyone. And no one appreciates it yet, but it is. We've all been conditioned on, you know, Instagram and Twitter, like all the historic platforms to think our follower count is what matters, right? The more followers, the more important we are. And TikTok's really the opposite. Like they want as many people on there creating content and using the platform. And so they reward early accounts. That's what Tate realized. He said, screw what was, let's adapt to what is. And I think that's where the, the genius came to be. He never even made an account for the first year. And from there, the money started rolling in for both Tate and his affiliates. The best affiliates would start raking in some insane money. One affiliate earned $11,000 in just one week for just having an Andrew Tate fan page. It was insane. And we're pretty sure that there were affiliates that made much more than that. Some of them made stupid money. Like there was there was one kid who was pulling in like 40 or $50,000 a month. And once the snowball started gaining momentum, Tate just reinvested into the flywheel. He started jumping on more and more podcasts. Why are we not equal? I'll tell you why we're not equal. Biologically, we're not equal. From fresh and fit to full send. For the longest period of human history, men had more than one woman. He would go on and say the most outrageous stuff possible to give his army of affiliates more ammo to play with. He would reinvest the money into more Bugattis and stuff to show off in more videos. And by June 2022, Hustlers University ballooned to over 55,000 students. That's 2.7 million a month. A month later, Tate had around 80,000 students or $3.9 million. By August, over 160,000 students or $8.1 million in a month. At that time, Andrew Tate didn't even have an official TikTok account, but videos using hashtag Andrew Tate have been viewed more than 10 billion times. And then boom, in the blink of an eye, Andrew Tate was canceled and banned on all platforms. I got a strike on YouTube, which prevented me from posting. The next day, Meta took me down, deleted my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, the press came out at exactly the same time in sync, saying that I'm a misogynistic, dangerous person, that I'm harmful, that I am the reason that the world is not a perfect place, world hunger, you name it, all my fault. A few hours before the YouTube strike expires, guess what happened? They banned me from YouTube. Then they banned me from Discord. Then they banned me from Airbnb. They banned me from Stripe. They banned, I can't even remember. It was, just, it was just emails coming in faster than you could believe. Ban, 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 ban. The following month, there was a big dip in students in Hustlers University. But just a month later in October 2022, Hustlers University was bigger than ever at 220,000 students. That's $11 million in a month, even with them getting canceled. Andrew Tate has made history and he's ushered in a new era of propaganda. I went to this party, my friend has a jet, I was in this Lambo, da 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 da. And you're just like, shut the up. There's nothing less attractive. You know, propaganda was originally a term coined by Edward Bernays. It, you can think of it as public relations today. Like he, he was writing the book on modern corporation public relations and propaganda was the word he used. And it was basically a way to subtly influence the masses to do what you think is best for society. Edward Bernays had an ethical code, like he helped influence smoking, you know, for, for women. And then he found out smoking was bad and, you know, help disband that whole messaging. But to him, it was a way to influence society in a nonviolent, collaborative way and in an effective way. And that all changed in, you know, after World War II, it, it got a negative connotation and it was just rebranded as, as public relations. And so up until recently, really, you know, social media has started to, to change it uh, across the board before TikTok even like, 
you know, Twitter, fake news on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. But the means of propaganda was just controlling the the message, right? The, the medium is the message. That was a Marshall McLuhan, you know, term way back in the day. But um, it, it, basically, if you had enough money or you had control of the institutional systems, you could cultivate whatever narrative you want. And whether that meant getting a, a doctor, you know, on the radio telling everyone that, you know, bacon is a good breakfast food, or if it meant, you know, putting ads out that women smoking made them sexy. Like that was traditional propaganda. And, and it was that all changed. Was, it was restricted yeah. to like people with a lot of money, big corporations. You needed serious resources. Before social media, you needed serious resources. Like you were running national ads. At first it was print ads. Then it moved to TV, you know? And so the only people that could play in those games were usually multinational corporations. And that's how it worked. And I don't view propaganda as a bad thing per se. I I see it as a way of influencing people's behavior. And you look at all the young men now all of a sudden that because of his propaganda, like they're waking up, like they're trying to take control of their lives. They're trying to work out. They're not afraid to talk to women. Like it's a fundamental attack of what historically was going on from like a global perspective. One guy with an iPhone can reach billions of people with whatever message they want. And like that was already a thing. Like the average person can like re- now reach more people. But mm-hmm. Tate basically took that and just like amplified it by like a thousand X. Tate exploited TikTok to a thousand X because social media was the first great equalizer, right? Like Instagram and, and all of that was like the first. It's like, oh, we can use influencers now to push our message. And then that kind of consolidated and it became who has the most money. But still, you know, kind of a traditional game. And then TikTok and Tate just busted it wide open. You can reach tens of billions of people with whatever message you want. So basically, he was able to achieve the same thing. uh, That multinational corporations spend billions of dollars to achieve more effectively because they spend that money and their message still falls apart sometimes. And again, now he's got kids converting to Islam and thinking Dubai is the greatest place in the earth. Basically, if you want power, you have to sway the masses. Traditionally, to sway the masses, you relied on giant TV ad campaigns, newspapers, things that you know were part are part of like the quote unquote matrix, like like Tate talks about. Uh, things that cost like hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, but now you can achieve- or you sell your soul, right? Like, yeah, yeah. But now you can achieve the same thing. You can sway the masses with whatever beliefs you want, just through this model of. The Tate model. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. He he achieved in a year what took Drake a decade. What are my overall thoughts on Andrew Tate? Uh, I think he accelerated what needed to be accelerated. I think he was a net positive for like so many young men in this world who have been kind of cast aside and that no one talks about. He basically found this whole audience of like the people no one cares about. And he empowered them. And if we want a better tomorrow, if we want a better future, if we want, you know, a pro-capitalistic, entrepreneurial, innovative society, you need engaged and excited young men. And so I'll never say anything bad about him because I think he woke up an entire generation that, you know, they're spending less time on their phones. They're taking responsibility for their life. Um, So I don't have anything bad to say. I think he should be, I think he should be back on the internet. And now you're already starting to see other influencers model his system. And for your convenience, here's a step-by-step guide as to how. First, you need a product. Tate went with the tried and true online course teaching people how to make money, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be almost anything. I'm sure if Mr. Beast really wanted to, he could do this with his chocolate bars. Um, do you think it has to be specifically a course on how to make money? Oh, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I- I'm doing something very interesting. So follow me for more. And if you want to make money, young kids, <laughs> but no, no, it, it translates to anything. Let's say Mr. Beast wanted to implement this. Realistically, he could do it by just offering like affiliate uh, commission on his chocolate bars. Yeah, for sure. You just need something that will sell and therefore something you can offer an affiliate program for. Then you just need some ammo for your affiliates to play with. Hosting or getting on podcasts is the most efficient way to do this. Obviously, the more controversial stuff you say, the better, but it doesn't have to be that controversial to work. It has to, it has to work on the platform. So it has to, 
Like what it has to do is it has to get people to stop scrolling and it has to pe- get people to care enough to engage. Like those are the two criteria it has to check. Just look at how Joe Rogan and Mr. Beast have a bunch of people making clips of them, even though they don't say anything too controversial and they don't even have an affiliate program either. They just have super, super diehard fans that want to build an audience off of their fame. And now that you have your product, the affiliate program, and the content, now it's time to create step-by-step instructions for your affiliates to follow. The easier you make the instructions, the more resources you give them, the more successful affiliates you're going to have. That was like a good offer. They had a viable path to making money. You had kids who probably never made a dime, who worship all the internet gurus, who all of a sudden could be making, I mean, what, 200 bucks a month is like, you know, great to them. And so there was the the right market and the right incentive. What I'm pretty sure of is you have to be willing to take the time and put the system together to educate people in relative detail, especially now as it's getting harder. Like, cause I've tried some very like half-ass stuff and it, it, I forget how, you know, no disrespect to Gen Z, but the the average 16 year old is not smart enough to like think through it all. Was Discord super important in this whole scheme? Yeah, Discord was home base, right? And, And that's where this younger generation lives. And so it was the right place to host them. You couldn't have done this in a Facebook group. The way Discord was organized, it it worked on that younger generation. And then boom, if you do it right, the money and attention will start exponentially growing on its own. Or if you don't want to set any of this up yourself and you're just looking for an affiliate program like this that you can promote with all the resources and step-by-step instructions that we just talked about, I'm launching my own course with my own affiliate program just like this. But the commission is gonna be way higher than Hustlers University. $100 per sign-up instead of 25. And in my humble opinion, I think my course is way more unique and better than Hustlers University in a different way. No offense to Andrew. With 20 plus lessons all narrated by me in the same documentary style you've come to love. And to kick off this launch and for the holidays, use code TAPE for 20% off expires at the end of the year. We're probably not going to do a sale this big again for a while, so use it while you can. Click the link below to sign up to be an affiliate now. What, you thought I just did all this research just for your convenience? This is for my education too. And now we all get the benefits. See, after researching all the videos on this channel about how the world really works, I saw a very startling pattern. All the wealthiest countries in the world, all the wealthiest corporations in the world, all the richest people in the world, they produce nothing. The West doesn't produce anything. The West doesn't do any of the hard labor. Apple doesn't manufacture the iPhone. No, Asia, Africa, Latin America do all the hard labor for us. And yet for some reason, the West has all the wealth, all the power while the majority of Asia, Africa, and Latin America have been stuck in poverty. Hmm, it seems like it's almost by design that they've stayed poor. And that's when it clicks. The most powerful people and institutions today have all the wealth not because they do all the work. Only suckers do the hard work. No, they have all the power because they figured out how to enslave the rest of the world to do the work for them. And I'm not talking about traditional slavery with whips and chains. I'm talking about the most sophisticated form of slavery the world has ever seen. Financial slavery. See, the world has always ran on slavery, just as the Roman Empire. But back then, you needed an entire standing army to go out and conquer a territory to enslave its people to use as your cheap labor force. But today, you can enslave entire populations with loans, sovereign debts, and a smile on your face. See, it's no longer physical warfare, but financial warfare. Instead of capturing a city-state and enslaving its people, you simply open up sweatshops for pennies on a dollar. You open up factories with suicide nets to prevent your slaves, I mean workers, from killing themselves. Today, it's no longer called slavery that has a bad ring to it. It's called inconspicuous names like globalization or offshoring. But it's slavery all the same. And up until recently, this modern day form of slavery used to be only reserved to the most powerful nations and corporations. But thanks to the internet, you can take advantage of the same exact power. And I expose all of this in my new program called Financial Warfare Masterclass. With 20 plus lessons all narrated by me in the same documentary style you've all come to love. Use code TAPE for 20% off. It expires at the end of the year. They're super addicting to watch, super binge worthy. You'll learn what the world has been hiding from you all along. And we'll go over exactly how you can implement this stuff to make more money, even if you're an employee right now or don't even have a job. And yes, there's an affiliate program, where as of right now, you get $100 per sign up instead of 25. There's a 14-day refund policy too, so scroll down and click the link below to buy it now.